is Indian dropshipping actually profitable? To find this out for you guys, I have decided to do something beyond a dropshipping challenge. Yes, you heard me right. So I have decided to document my progress in a series where I'll be showing you how I take my dropshipping business from zero to 10 lakh. So you might be wondering what is so special about this documenting series? It is special because I'm going to showcase my everyday progress in day one, day two videos and I will try to complete this video until I reach 10 lakh rupees in sales and also I'm going to showcase what top dropshippers do to avoid mistakes because when you're putting a lot of budget on scaling, there could be a chance that you will end up losing a lot of money in dropshipping as well. So that is why a lot of people say that dropshipping is a scam. But if you do it properly, you won't end up losing any money instead of that you can get a ROI of 30 to 40 percent if you are doing it the right method Guys, as you can see, this is my Shopify dashboard and I'm going to show you which plan would be ideal for you. They are charging rupees 20 per month. So their billing cycle will be consisting of three months. This is a marketing gimmick that they are providing you this plan for rupees 20 only. After that, we will do basic settings. Depend if you are doing dropshipping in India, you have to do the settings and billing as per Indian currency. You can see I have selected this 20 rupees plan and after 30 days i'm supposed to pay them 1994 rupees that's how it works and uh, uh, if you are doing dropshipping in india you have to select all your location and everything according to india only there's uh, nothing like a rocket science that you need to know in this uh, setting kind of thing here comes uh, one of the most important part uh, if you are doing trying to do the customization for us dropshipping you have to make sure you are adding all the tax details and everything if you are charging the sales tax because tax is a thing out there but uh, here we are going to learn Indian dropshipping scaling so I don't think it is very needed this time so let's come to the one of the most important thing that is theme so you can see if we'll come to this theme section they have a lot of free themes available popular th free themes like dawn spotlight refresh sense craft and if you already have any theme coded by yourself then you can definitely do it by your own we do have one theme of our that we use for our client store I will be going with this particular theme this is not a free theme guys so stop asking me on whatsapp to provide this theme this is a paid theme and it is going to cost you around triple uh, nine if you want to go with this theme we can definitely provide you one the best thing about this particular theme is that the main menu and the footer menu and the policies and the pages everything is there already you just have to import this particular theme in your shopify store and everything is done let's talk about why theme is so important theme is very important in the e-commerce industry because it represents your brand and uh, with a good theme you can deliver best possible user friendly experience to the customer if you want to do drop shipping and you want one of the most best theme then i can suggest you can go with this uh stein theme this is one of the most best theme for you will drop shipping or if you want to do in india you can go with that ahead with that also moving ahead i have already installed my theme this is how it looks so what i'm going to do i'm going to do the customization and you can see i don't have to add any pages if i'll go to this contact about us you can see every page and every important things it is already written over here but all you have to do you just have to change the phone number and your email as per your choice and yeah you have to do the logo part also that's up to you how you want to design your logo make sure it looks quite decent so here uh, they have this section of featured collection if you are going to push some product uh, from roposo cloud or from the product page itself uh, these are going to show over here in default if you want you can uh, do it from Roposo or uh, some other supplier platform like low road for us you can use zdrop or aliexpress so once my product will be researched and everything is done then i will start adding the product because there's no point of adding a product over here without any sense of it so yeah that is why i'm leaving this section if you have already researched your product you can definitely do, do that and start adding it in the bestseller section so i'm just avoiding 
avoiding that because in the next episode i'm going to show you how to do the product research well as well so guys i have already told you about uh, themes premium themes and uh, how a winning drop shipping store should look like you can see this is uh, on the theme that i've told you the shrine theme and this is uh, how the stores look like you can see this is a general store while you are customizing your store you also have to decide which niche you want to make your store on like uh, if you want to make it in a general store you don't have any barriers related like uh, which type of products you will be adding like if you are going with the one niche product like you have to make sure all the products that you are going to add in your shop it should be related to uh, gadgets or technology related only uh, you can't add uh, home accessories or makeup beauty if you are making a one niche product because uh, in that manner if it is a one niche product uh, then you are degrading the quality and the trustability of the store so make sure if you are making it in a one niche make sure your whole store from products to your overall store it should look like that it is a one niche store so if you are a beginner i would suggest you to add some apps that will be quite helpful for you the first one would be roposo cloud so roposo cloud is a supplier platform that allows you to push products from them to your store and they will be taking care of all the inventory and everything you don't have to take care of the inventory and the delivery they are going to show you some analytics and all the orders deliver and everything they are going to cut up the charge of like 70 rupees on each rto the rest of the money they are going to give it in your bank account you have to add your bank account details also so yeah uh, if you don't want to go with the uh, uh, roposo cloud then there is one more that is glow road and if you don't want to do through any supplier then you have to go to india mart and look a supplier of your own and once you find the supplier you have to uh, get the shipment done also on your side like uh, if you want this then you can go with ship rocket they also provide uh, cod orders but there's uh, some legal thing that like gst and everything is required you uh, you have to take it by yourself only so there's a uh, quite a lot of thing that is involved that makes the process uh, not beginner friendly that is why if you're a beginner level i will suggest you to go with roposo cloud so the second app that i would suggest you to add that is easy sell cod so this is easy sell cod what it does is that if you are going to select the plan they have this uh, if you are in the testing stage then you can choose this free plan that will allow you to order only 60 uh, products in a month and if you are going with the professional you have to pay them nine dollar for a month and the limit for ordering is 360 and if you wanted and if you are looking to scale like uh, and you don't know how much number you want to increase till then then you can uh, use this uh, unlimited plan so once you set up this form this form helps the user in the checkout process and uh, i would suggest uh, uh, in the default process this address one address two is written try to add building number and area so that uh, if the customer is ordering something from you they have very clear address written otherwise there are chances that rto can increase if the address is not written properly without any pin codes so make sure you build your checkout form very properly and if you want to give some discounts you can add this discount code and you can generate a discount by your own and if you want to change the color then you can see here are multiple op options of color that are available this is how it will look like once you change the color but this is very important for cash on delivery orders because in india you know that if you are a dropshipper uh, 80 to 90 percent of order are based on cash on delivery if and here comes the third app that is one pixel so one pixel uh, is a pix facebook and TikTok pixel tracking platform so it allows you to track down your traffic and conversion that you, uh, you have run ads on Facebook so it is very important to track your campaign so that you can optimize it accordingly in future if you have a very less budget then you can go with this zero forever but the only drawback is that you are allowed to track only one pixel at a time and if you are a beginner I would suggest you can go with this one because you are not using multiple accounts it is not only restricted to Facebook only you can add TikTok pixels also and the Facebook ads pixel Google Ads Pixel, it's up to you. So these are the important apps that are very important while you are starting your dropshipping from the beginning and uh, this is how my store looks like uh, just wait so in the day one I have uh, done the customization of my store and this is a general store because I don't want my areas to be get restricted because uh, product research and everything will be involved and uh, there might be some chances that my product will not be able to line up in one particular niche so that is why i've made this general store and in the next video i'm going to do the product research 
how to find the winning dropshipping product so yeah guys these are the important things that you have to keep in your mind while you are customizing your e-commerce store so yeah guys that's it for episode 1 i hope you learned a lot in the episode 1 in the second episode we are going to learn about winning products how you can find one and what are the tools that i personally use to find my winning products i'm going to see you all in the second episode till then go and customize your winning dropshipping store whether a niche one or a general store